Hey, it's Steve here with webstars.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid making mistakes when building your website. All right, time out. Let's be honest here, you're gonna make mistakes. Whether you're building your website or, or recording a video about making mistakes on your website, I have pushed record no less than 14 times and redone this exact part. So, uh, Clearly, I've, I've made a bunch of mistakes. Uh, but knowing how to back out of those mistakes or, or undo those mistakes uh, is the real value in what we're gonna cover in this video. And there's a number of ways you can do that within the editor. Now, there's really three main things that are gonna help you in avoiding mistakes. First and foremost would be our backup and restore feature. Uh, if you haven't yet had a chance to use that, uh, I would suggest you try that uh, ASAP. Uh, and in fact, once you do, uh, the rest of this video you can pretty much throw away uh, because this is really gonna save your bacon if you make a major mistake. If you have a current version of your website saved and if you do it, say, daily or just before you make any major edits, you've always got that to go back to in the event you make a major mistake. Uh, it's really your biggest insurance policy when dealing with your website. And the list of things that can go wrong is extensive. You're dealing with a web-based tool, so what if your internet goes out? right in the middle of something or right in the middle of a save and it, and it screws something up. Uh, what if your browser crashes? It happens, right? Computers can get gummed up. Let's jump into the dashboard and I'm gonna give you a quick overview on how to use it. Uh, if you wanna dive deeper into it, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Now once inside the account and you're on the dashboard for the site you wanna edit, click on the backups icon located under your website thumbnail. And this will bring you to a page where you can manage all of your existing backups. You can see I have many. Uh, it goes on for quite a while. I've been using this particular website for quite some time, as well as the ability to create a new backup. Now, this will be your first step if you've never used this. Obviously, you're probably not gonna have any backups, so you wanna create that backup initially. And to do so, you click the blue Create Backup button. And that'll create the backup for the site. Uh, it'll give a timestamp of when that was created. Uh, you can then preview it by clicking the preview icon. That'll open it up in a separate browser tab. In fact, it'll even tell you right here when this was created and what you're looking at. Now I can scroll through here, uh, make sure that each page has the content that I'm happy with, uh, and then I can move on. I can say, hey, this is a good backup. I can proceed editing my website, and I can make a bunch of mistakes because I can always restore from that. Uh, let's go over that restore feature. Go ahead and close out of this. And let's say I want to restore from a previous date. Let's uh, take a look at this. Now I can click this and it's gonna give me a small preview on the right hand side here in this preview window. Uh, and I can then click the preview icon to give me a full page version of it. Um, so either way, you have a couple options there. Uh, quick preview by clicking the link, full preview by clicking the preview icon. Now you can tell that this website is different than the one I have live, but if I want to revert back to this, I can do so. Simply click the restore backup icon. Now it's going to ask me to confirm if I really want to back up to that version, and in this case I do. Click continue. And from there you'll get a message saying that the site is being restored. Now keep in mind that this restore feature may take a little bit of time depending on how big or how large these files are. Uh, if you've got a lot of pages, a lot of images, etc., these all have to be uh, restored to your current site. So that can take a little bit of time. So keep that in mind when you do this. Uh, once you're happy and you're ready to go, click OK. And let's go back to the account dashboard. Now the site thumbnail is gonna regenerate. Uh, it should regenerate based on this old website that you've just restored. And there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and click the link and make sure that that is the old site. And there you have it. Now had I made a big mistake, you can see that I can restore to a completely separate version that I had backed up previously. Um, again, this is your biggest insurance policy. This is gonna protect you in the event you have a major malfunction with the website. Uh, if you haven't used it, do so now, please. All right, let's get back. Let's go ahead and close this out. And we'll go back into the backups. Now we covered how to create a backup, how to preview it, how to restore it. Uh, there's one other icon here and that's the delete key. Uh, you can see that I've got quite a mess here, right? So this is gonna be a little difficult to manage. Uh, I mean, these are all the way, I mean, if you could keep going. I guess this site was just created back in 2018, so uh, it doesn't go that far back. However, uh, that's a number of backups to manage. If I wanna make my life a little bit easier and I wanna get rid of some of these, well, I can just delete them, no big deal. And you can do that as you go. 
Uh, maybe you only want to keep one or two uh, current backups so you don't get confused, so they're easier to manage. Just feel free to delete them as you need. And that about covers it for the backup and restore feature. Uh, like I said, if you want to dive a little bit deeper, I'm going to leave a link to the description below for the help doc for that. Now let's say you don't want to restore to a previous version of your website. Uh, you don't necessarily want to lose everything you've worked on today, so uh, you want to just make a small incremental undo. Uh, well, that's just it, the undo feature. Uh, this is something that most of us have been using for, well, since we've been using computers. Uh, they've been, it's been part of like Microsoft Word or other word processing programs for uh, as long as I can remember, and I've certainly been using a computer for a while. Uh, well, there's no different within the Web Starts Editor. So let's go ahead and jump into the editor. We'll click Edit Website. And let's pretend for a minute that I've made all these changes to my website, and I don't want to back up to a previous version, but I accidentally delete this headline text. Well, shoot. Well, actually, it's no big deal. All we do is jump up here to the Undo icon, click Undo, and it comes right back. This also works if I was to delete that, click Save, view that live page, and only then I realize I've made this mistake. Again, no big deal. You can undo a post saved issue. Click undo. It'll come right back. Resave your page. Go back to your home page, refresh the page, and it's back. So the undo feature, while not as thorough or as life saving as the backup and restore feature, uh, it's going to help you out in a pinch, you know, as you're moving on and editing your website. So. Definitely use that, definitely get familiar with that and know where that's at. Yeah, and it pretty much works just like the undo feature and anything else you've ever used. So uh, nothing really to learn there, but just know that it's available to you, is helpful. Now the third thing I'm gonna talk about is a little redundant. Um, we talked about Web Starts being a web-based editor, uh, all the changes you make and save are made live to the web, uh, but it requires your browser and an internet connection to make those changes, right? So you can make a bunch of changes to your website. Say I'm just in here and I'm, uh, deleting and just getting all kinds of crazy. Gotten really mad at my website and I'm basically throwing stuff through the windows. Whatever the case may be. Uh, if I don't save this page, these changes are not made live. So I can view my website and you can see that none of those changes are made. All this stuff still exists on my website. Now I can either undo to undo all of that or I just click the dashboard button or close my browser or back out of it some way. Uh, you can see when I do so that I get a notice, leave site, changes made will not be saved. Well, yeah, I don't wanna save these changes, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna save those changes. I go back to my homepage like I did before, refresh the page. None of those changes have been saved because I didn't save those changes. I didn't physically save those changes. So uh, if all else fails and you've made a huge mistake and you just wanna back out of it, just go back to your dashboard or close your browser close your computer, go home for the day, you know, start again tomorrow. Who knows? Just know that not saving your page will make sure that those changes aren't saved. Now, just to recap, uh, backup and restore feature, uh, that is going to save you big time. Uh, it has saved me, it'll save you, make sure to use it. Uh, the undo feature, something everybody's familiar with, just know that it exists in Web Starts as well. And then finally, just don't save your page. Close out of your browser, back out, go home. You don't have to save those changes. Now, as always, if you find the video helpful, uh, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for using Web Starts, and we'll see you on the next video.